A very good morning to you, all your crafty lot. First of June today, um, first day of the summer, I guess. Um, it's really nice and sunny outside. Now, some bathing for me still. I got um, a t-shirt quite high up because I got burnt a couple of days ago. So loads of indoor crafting and beading for me today. I've got so much to show you. So we did the flare necklaces on Saturday and I love this one. I had a few messages on Facebook asking if I can show you how to do the bracelet as well so you can have a lovely set with them. I just added some um, cream to my um, hands because my hands are so dry with all the washing and sort of so we did the lovely necklaces on Saturday. So if you do want to have a look, how is it done? Do go back. Um, you can go back on Facebook or on our website and check out the video for Saturday. We made um, a couple of different style of necklaces. So we made this one and made this one as well with the large roses. I love them both. I did this one a little bit longer so I can bear it with sort of different tops. Um, so I had a few messages how to do the bracelets. The bracelets are done on stretch elastic and I'm going to show you today, I just dropped one, um, I'm going to show you today how to make them. They're really lovely and very easy. Um, Pigginers, um, you know, make as well again and they look really effective. Let me just grab this one I dropped. <laughs> So the materials we're going to be using again, once again, we're going to be using the roses, but I'm going to turn you down in a minute on my mat and I'm going to show you the, how they all done. I'm going to take this off so I can show you better on the mat. Um, how is everybody today? Is everybody, um, what, what have you been up, up to? Um, have you done loads of crafting? I see so many lovely pictures in our group. So we got a few groups on Totally Beads. Um, they are... The handmade one is probably the bigger one. There is over a thousand people in there showing your what you've been making, putting pictures up, and it's so nice for us to see it and, and so nice for everybody to see it, what you've been up to and what you've been making. So let me just say hello quickly, then I turn the camera in. Morning, Marcia, Alicia, Judith, Jen, Margaret, Marianne, Debbie, Pauline, Lynn, Paula. Oh my God, there's so many of you here today. Antida, Pauline, Annie, June. Um, Margaret, Joe, Jackie, um, Karen, Camille, Di, Alison, um, Maureen, Lucy, uh, saying good morning, Kitty, and all the lovely beaders. Ruth, Angela, Pamela, Lucy, saying I have been making Lydia bracelets. I'm on the fifth one now. Yeah, they are a bit um, addictive. I think this is the good thing about it, that when you learn a technique and you keep practicing it over and over again, it really goes in there and you won't forget it. So you can keep um, making them. And after I think you make quite a few bracelets, then you start to think that perhaps if I use different size of beads or different style of beads and start experimenting with them. So good morning, Jitty. Good morning, Sandra. Um, jo good morning, Joe. Um, Joe's saying, see my granddaughter of um, Milan. I think Milan. That's that's must be his name. First time eleven weeks. Ah, oh, I bet it was really special. And um, I think a lot of people sort of met up with the family or had a little barbecues. They had a little party, a couple of doors down as well from us. Um, over the weekend morning, Michelle. Oh, Lucy's saying yes. I can do one now without looking at the pattern. Oh, very good, Lucy. Right, let me turn you down. I'm going to turn the light on in my lighting rig, and I'm going to show you what we will be using and what we're going to be doing today so just turning the camera around i'm hoping that we're not gonna get yesterday we had a real problem the picture kept blurring but i'm hoping today we're gonna be nice and um clear for you so the materials i'm using so so many of you got this lovely bundle of pearls um these are the i Asked Simon to add to the page today as well. There are 40 strands of pearls in there. So you get 10, 20 different colors, um, eight millimeter and six millimeter in the colors as well. It's a really great one to work with because as you can see, I'm actually gonna do, I was gonna do the same color um, bracelet as the necklace, but I decided to go with the, this is what we made on Saturday. I decided to go with the turquoise one today because I got 
quite a few sort of turquoise and sea foamy tops as well. So I wanted to make a bracelet to go with it. So I'm going to use the turquoise one to with this really lovely teal color of pearls today. So that's, I'm going to show you a couple of different designs. So let me just get these out. I don't need a six mil. I'm just going to use the eight mil. So I'm going to take the pearls out and I'm also be you're going to be using these lovely pink color ones these are all small ones so i'm going to show you a couple of stars and i'm going to put this with maybe these lighter pearls lighter pink pearls they're going to be i think going to go very very well so this is the great thing about the bundle so you can just sort of just go back and you've got so many colors to play with that you can really match out what you are doing but i think i'm going to do it with that lighter one so let me just get this out of the way. Now I didn't show you the other day, but there is some other styles of, um, oh, Lucy's saying the bundle is brilliant value for money. Yes, so usually if you would buy the string separate, it should be 50 pound and it's 34.99. So saving 15 quid, um, which is quite great. And if you are doing and making using the, Sarah used this bundle um, a few, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, she was making some bits of pieces with it. I'm using as well. And we had some other bundles as well. The speckled beads, I'll show you at the end. I got, I got that on the other tray. Is that's what we made. I made the other necklace with on Saturday, these ones. Um, they just got the most amazing speckled finish and that's 12 color bundle. And in that one, you got six, eight and 10 mil beads. And that's on discount as well. So we keep using these bundles. So if you can, Get your hand on one because it's going to be really great to sort of you can just work straight away. Right, there was a couple of roses I didn't show you the other day. So I'm just going to show you these ones. Now these are pendants. So these are the same material as the roses we're using in the bracelets and the necklaces. But they only, they got sort of a flat back to them, a curved flat back. And they only have one hole at the top. So they are perfect as pendants. So if I was going to use this on a necklace, I'd probably only use one. And then have, let's get a matching pearl here. I got these ones. These one would match it perfectly, or even the other one. This color would perfectly match it. No, the turquoise one. The first choice. The first choice is always a good one. And I just put sort of a string of pearls with it. Um, you can attach this with a larger jump ring, so you have to put through just a larger jump ring to it, or you can attach it with an eye pin um, very easily, and that just sort of would go on the middle of the necklace, and that's it. That's how really easy it would to have one of those pendants. This comes in many different colors as well. Um, they're all really, really lovely to work with. I think there was one more. I'm not sure where I put it, but I love this color. And there was the other ones what I was talking about on Saturday, which again, they only got one hole going through. This is the medium size um, roses. And um, they got this lovely flat back as well, same as the pendants. Now these I would use just sort of in the middle of um, maybe one or two, or you could use it on longer necklaces. You could do all sorts of different things with it. I haven't got another turquoise one. I'm going to put a pink one here for you as a visual but again I would just string it maybe perhaps even use it with smaller pearls as well um, or just do any pattern you put crystals anything you like in with it with stringing so they are great as well they're all on the website today so let's get started so we're gonna cover a couple of um, style of elastic bracelets. So this one is using two, a medium and a small size. So they just weave a little bit different inside them. And then, the first of all, I'm going to show you the short one. And this one is using the small one all the way around. Um, what I love about elastic bracelets, because sometimes people think they are a little bit basic, but I love them because there is no end and there is no beginning to the bracelet. So it looks great no matter how you wear it. Oh, I finished my bracelet yesterday and um, my Aqua Tool one, so I made this one for myself. Um, I finished it last night after the video, but um, I got a bluey, 
purpley top today, so I'm going to have to make another bracelet as well. This is what we did yesterday, the herringbone, tubular herringbone wave in the ombre colours. It was really a great fun to do. So I love these elastic bracelets because there's no beginning and no end to it. So no matter how they twist on your hand, you're never going to see a clasp. So that's that. Let me... Where did I put my elastic string? Yeah. So the elastic I'm going to be using, this is just a 0.8 round elastic. I hope it comes up and you can see it. Um, there is a couple of different elastic we sell on the website. This one is the round one. I use the round one when I'm using, I suppose, larger beads or heavier beads. Because they're the flossy elastic, it's much more stretchier than the round elastic. But if you're using with heavy beads, then sort of the bracelet, the, the beads can pull it apart a little bit. And something like this, especially if you're going to weave it backwards and forwards, you need a really nice um, and strong elastic. I guess this one is a... The flossy elastic is quite strong as well, but they got different... They're strong in a different way. So I'm just going to take about a couple of feet because we're going to... It's about 50, 60 centimeters. We're going to weave backwards and forwards with this design. And um, I'm also going to take the pearls. Now, the pearls, we don't have to go through the pearls twice. But as I said before, with the pearls, as you can see, it's a glass bead. And they put this lovely pearl coating on it afterwards. And sometimes the pearl coating can go towards into the hole and block the hole. So it's not so easy to... Um, string them through with um, elastic because elastic is a little bit of a floppy material. If you had tiger tail, if you had a needle, you can just pierce through it. So sometimes what you have to do to take an eye pin or take a needle and just free that hole up a little bit. It's not on every single color. It's uh, there's no right or wrong or rhyme or reason for it. It's just sometimes in some colors you get it and others and don't. But that's that's sort of just a little top tip. So I'm going to take these off. Kristen is saying happy beading Monday Kitty and everyone watching. Oh, I, Sarah just reminded this morning I had a, um, a, little, a little chat with her. She said, oh, it's Monday. I said, oh, no, it's Monday again. It, it comes around every single week, but it comes around so quickly that um, I don't know. One, one day to another most of the days so i'm gonna start with adding one of these lovely roses so i'm just gonna go through this one and take it right down to the middle let's get get these out of the way so now we're gonna start our weave we're gonna got we got two strands here two ends and i'm gonna have to add now depending on how you can add more or less pearls if you're working with smaller or larger pearls it's really a step to you i'm gonna add a couple of pearls to either side of my bracelet so that's it i'm just gonna push this through that's one Leslie saying, good morning. I made it while you are still. Dee saying, good morning, um, Kitty and everyone. Hope you have a lovely day. Yeah, um, I think like while the sun is shining, it's so... Um, this this was actually, this is it was a true study I read. Oh God, I don't know, so many years ago now, I don't even know what is one, that um, the number of hours of sunshine you get, it really affects your mood. And when it's nice and sunny, everybody's tempted to be uh, much happier. So I'm so happy when it's um, sunny outside. It just sort of gives you a good feeling, I guess. So I added two pearls of either end and now I'm ready to add my next acrylic rose. Now what I need to do here, I'm going to take one end and go through one by of that rose. Then I'm going to take the other end and come from the other side and thread it through. And when I pull this up tight, they're just going to sit nicely next to that. So we got our first cluster and then from here on, you're just going to repeat Every single time what you're doing, adding your pearl, two pearls on either side, one, two, 
two. Come on, there is the hole. I shouldn't have chosen such a light pro because my background is quite light as well. And um, I hope you can see it all right. And another one. So just keep carry on. Has anybody got any questions? And again, I'm going to take the next rows and take it through from one side and then come from the other side and pull this up tight. So again, we have a very our next cluster done and we're just going to carry on adding. Now this is when you do elastic bracelets as well or any other bracelets, I always have the problem that um, the store-bought bracelets are always too small for me. So I'm quite um, happy to make my own. But with elastic, you've got sort of a little bit of give and take in it, so you can cheat a little bit. So if you're making bracelets to sell or as a gift, elastic one is really popular usually because it's not one size fits all, but um, a size can fit multiple wrists, I guess, multiple sizes up and down a little bit. So the next one, I'm ready to add in the next rows. Um, what size of the flower and the pearl are you using? Minnie's asking. So the pearls are 8mm. They are out of the bundle, what we have on the website on offer. And the, um, these little flowers, they say 15mm on the website, but in reality, they are much, uh, they look much smaller than what they are. And especially in this design, I'm going to have to come from the other side first. So there might be a little bit of blockage on there. Because when they make these flowers, they mold them. So one size, one side of the hole is always going to be a tiny bit smaller than the other side. So if you struggle fitting it through, just turn the rows around and then it's very easily it's going to go on again. So they are 50 millimeter in size, but um, I guess that's the widest point of the petals. But because the petals are going in and out, they look really smaller. The pearls are 8 mil next to it. So I would say they, to me, they don't look anything 12 or 30 mil, larger than 12 or 30 mil. Um, Jane is asking, do you stretch out the elastic before you use it? No, I don't. Um, I know some different brands, um, I, I guess, work differently and they have different um, care advices for their product. This one, what we use, um, I don't because it's quite a strong elastic anyway. And if I sh sort of pull it out and stretch it out before I use, then the stretch what left on it is going to be sort of less so I, I don't stretch it out generally if i i do have quite a few stretchy bracelets and um, they last quite a few years before you have to redo them and wear them a lot of times so that's quite strong so as you can see it's coming together quite quick And I'm just keep adding the two pearls on either side. And another one. And two on this side as well. Um, I think you are answering each other or chatting to each other as well, which is so lovely to see. So uh, Marion just asked, morning, Ronnie, have you had a nap after <laughs> your uh, last night beading? Yes, yeah, some of the nights, I call it, it is a one more row night when you uh, start beading and you're beading, beading, beading. And you just think, oh gosh, it's like nine o'clock. I must sort of put it down and go to bed. And then you just say to yourself, oh, I'm just going to do one more row. And you keep doing one more row, 
until it turns out it's like 10 o'clock and and you can't put it down so you do a few more one more rows and before you know it it's like midnight and you have to go to bed it's definitely when i was doing these bracelets that night i was up until 11 o'clock doing them um it was definitely just like that or just do a little bit more just a little bit more Yeah, so this pearl, you can see on one side has got a little bit of blockage. So I'm just going to take my needle, sort of twirl it around there, make that little bit of the end wider. I'm Jeannie saying, good morning, Kitty. The roses look really pretty. I love these roses. They are one of my favourites, I guess, um, to work with because some something like this you're taking such a simple material and um you know it turns your jewelry into really fantastic looking i'm um, jenny saying bead on elastic is really good quality i don't think i tried bead on elastic i have used bead along before Um, Sue is saying, sorry, I joined late, but the elastic is being used. So the elastic I'm using is just the one we sell on the website. This is 0.8 um, elastic. I think it's made in Korea. It's quite a strong one. I like this round elastic. When I'm using larger beads, I like to use the round elastic for it. And then if I'm using smaller beads and um, perhaps doing multi-row bracelets, I like to use the flossy one. So I'm just keep adding my roses. I think we do a couple more sets and I'll show you how to join the end and the beginning together. Leslie's asking what's an average size of a bracelet. So an average size, what um, I guess people would say is seven inch, which is 17 and a half centimeters. Um, my wrist is certainly bigger so i tend to use eight inch or eight inch a little bit um 20 21 centimeter because i also like to have my bracelets a little bit loose as well but it's really you know it's, it's every person is different i guess we come in all sort of shape and sizes um what fits different people but as as um when we buy ready-made jewelry in like um you had the pandora style ones usually comes in seven um seven and a half eight eight and a half and nine inch length nine inches i think the biggest one but sometimes companies only release like seven inch and seven and a half and eight inch bracelets by different jewelers but I think the great thing about this, that you're making your own jewellery, you make into the size what it needs you to fit. Oh, and he's saying my first day of retirement and I'm late joining. I just lost the check of them. Oh, lovely. Have re happy retirement to you. Um, Oh, it's just so nice. I, I always say I can't wait until I retire. And I in the cupboards I have here in the um in my craft room, I got the first five year of retirement sorted already because I got so many kids and everything like different crafts and different bits of pieces I want to get through and I want to do. So I definitely I won't be bored, I guess. The first five years is sorted with kits and projects and everything else I wanna do. I even got like a paint by number painting I got a few years ago for Christmas and I keep sort of getting it out. That I need to sit down, I really wanna do it. Um, I know this is, I'm, I'm not a really a great painter, but um, I did, I don't know, the last one I did probably was like 20 years ago. So things like that are in the back of the cupboard Oh, Marion is saying, since retiring, not enough hours in the day. Enjoy. 
Well, I don't know. I haven't got enough hours in the day now. So if you're saying I'm going to be even more busier when I retire. Um, Patricia's saying, oh dear, I'm late again. I've been steam cleaning all my floors. I'm exhausted now. Sat with coffee, watch and catch up. Oh, I know how you feel. I usually do it sort of twice a year. Um, steam clean the um, carpet in a lounge, the sofas and everything. It just sort of, it comes up lovely. Usually, bef usually do it before Christmas. I take a couple of days off and um, just sort of go through the house. And then I, I usually do it sometime sort of in mid to late spring as well. I haven't done it this year yet. I haven't had time, but... Um, I love doing it. I really do love doing it. Just sort of get the steamer out and go around the house with it. Make the little driplets of milk and coffee and everything. Oh, no, well, the kids wouldn't drop the coffee, but um, Coke or I suppose anything else. Well, they take into the lounge while they're watching their programs and you get a couple of dribbles on the carpet. Make them all disappear and go away. But I think if you've got young children in your house, well, you know exactly what I mean. And you tell them, no, please hold the cup with two hands. And they don't. Um, Camille is saying, a true crafter, never just one craft. Sewing, card making, knitting, felting, even ceramics are oh, lovely. Yeah, do let me know what other crafts are you into and what you like to do. Or, or certainly over the years, I've done so many little, I tried so many different things. I can't say i done because some of them like, I guess I was better than others. Um, we even went on... How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How many is in our bracelet? There's only ten. Oops, so we need to take one off. So over the years I've done so many different crafts as well. Right, so now we added our last two pearls and we are ready to join with the beginning. So what you need to do, um, I like to flip my bracelet over and then pull the ends down on the top of it because um, even at me, I've done it so many times that I joined the ends the wrong way and then my bracelet was twisted. So I always like to flip it over, bring the ends on, sort of line, line it up and then I know this end is going to have to go through this first flower that way. And just pull this up tight and now I'm in a position to knot my elastic now if you do want to if you've heard about it you can always go through your bracelet let me just hold these two ends together to tighten up a little bit so I would just sort of pull it down a little bit make sure this see I'm sliding those roses down as I go along just to tighten up the elastic and when I get towards the end you will see so there we got like a little gap already so I'm just going to tighten it up and pull it all down to make sure it's nice and even on both sides and then you got a couple of sort of options um, I just like to knot it normal knot maybe two possibly three times I know Sarah likes to do a certain knot so this is again we sort of prefer to do things in different day, way which is great I guess what we are used to so you take it loop you over one way and pull it up tight then I'm gonna as I'm pushing down with my little finger and ring finger on the bracelet because I don't want this half knot but I don't travel back up I'm gonna take the top over again so if you just want to do a normal knot you just take it around once if you want to do a surgeon's knot you need to take around a couple of times and then I just drop the end that's it and there's my other end let's turn around and start again so I'm going to do a surgeon's knot so I'm going to take it around twice 
and then I'm just gonna pull this up nice and that give it a nice couple of nice little tugs and then my knot is complete then you can use a tiny bit of glue or a nail varnish I had a nail varnish here earlier what do I do with it no one is where are you hiding no that's cuticle oil that won't do oh i put it out earlier what did i do with it i keep rearranging my desk here is it kind of no sorry i want i don't i don't know what i've done with it is it behind my ipad no it's a mystery disappeared in a puff of smoke, I guess. I'll find it in a minute. So you can apply a little bit of glue or a little bit of nail varnish to your knot. Now I do like the nail varnish because all there is, there is its hiding, I got it. So the clear nail varnish, this is only just a cheap one. I, I don't even know where I picked it up, maybe Primark. Um, is easier to use because you can have <clears throat> the top just comes up you got the brush there so you can really precisionly add that tiny bit of glue and you can see I'm kind of taking most of my nail varnish off there because I only want a tiny 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 bit I'm gonna pull my elastic out and I'm gonna add it to the knot now as you can see the Elastic is coming from the pearls and coming from this rose bead and these are my tail ends and I want to apply it towards my tail ends. I don't want to apply it like right underneath my knot. I'm only putting it on the top. If I was applying super glue, I would apply it with a toothpick because when you go in with a toothpick, so if I just get my needle, just a tiny bit of glue on the end of your toothpick and you can really maneuver it and just put it on the top of the knot. If you if you let the glue to seep into the the part where it's sort of in the pearl, um, it can make it brittle. So I just added a tiny bit there and I'm just ready to cut the ends off. Now, whenever you're doing any elastic bracelet, if the hole is then large enough for me to pull the knot in, usually I wiggle the knot right inside there. You can wait first until it's dry or you can sort of wiggle it in straight away. And then our knot is disappeared and we got a continuous um, lovely bracelet to wear. I think I might have made it too small from, no, actually it's the right size. So 10 roses is the right size for me. I have got quite a large wrist, so you would need probably a smaller one, I guess. Marion is saying crafting keeps me saying um and he's saying lovely bracelet and nice relaxed demo oh thank you um leslie's saying is so pretty yes um camille is replying to somebody and she's saying yes keep me from nodding off in front of the telly um i mean it's saying same for me so very easily you can make a matching bracelet to i know i use different color pearls here to your necklace now i want to show you sorry let me just get this out of the way how to do the one where you want to make it with um, the medium sized roses and the smaller ones in there at the same time so the technique is going to be very similar i lost a rose let's get another one is it the same color yes um, the technique is similar, but when you're feeding your large roses on, it's going to be slightly different way with the, how you go through them. So I just quickly want to show you. Again, I'm going to take my pearls, 8mm pearls. You could use crystals if you like. You could use, you know, the speckled glass beads. You could use anything um, what you like if you are just new and joining us um we are using eight millimeter pearls we're using this lovely roses this is the 15 mil which is doesn't really look like 50 mil i guess but point to point the widest point uh, must be 15 mil but because the flower petals are coming in you can see that um for me this is doesn't really look bigger than a 12 or 30 mil this one says 25 mil but again because the shape of the petals um 
I would say maybe 22 mil looking at it. Um, it looks, so this is what we're using. There's other ones available on the website. There is this one, which is just a pendant, got a really nice, smooth and round back. All you need to add just a jump ring and then you can add it to a string of pearls, a string of crystals or anything you like um, to them. So just a really easy and quick make. There is also a one, a larger one with three holes at the back so this one sort of comes out and it acts as a divider bar Ronnie's saying kitty your video is jumping and repeating please do let me know if you have any other and everybody else have that me too doris keep repeating and stopping i'm really sorry um maybe christopher went on the internet as well do let me know if it keeps up and then I will try to come off the Wi-Fi and do it on my 3G, but sometimes that's not better as well. So there is some with three holes at the back. This is X as a divider bar. And we made this necklace on Saturday with the three different size of strands of these speckled glass beads. And they are just sort of on there, but this is all on the Saturday video. So if you want, check this out, how to make the necklace. And I'm just gonna show you how to do the bracelet. We also made this one on Saturday. Oh, Debbie's saying okay here. Um, Karen's saying mine fine, and he's saying mine okay. So hopefully we are good um, with the internet. I think there's so many people on there um, during the day that it's quite um, spread thin. So I'm gonna take another piece of elastic Oh, I didn't talk, I haven't told you about the free PDF yet. So, um, if you go on our website, just here, this is totallybeads.co.uk. On the left hand side or in the categories, if you click on there, there is a category called Facebook tutorials. Now, if you go in there, you get, um, there must be something with the Wi Fi because this is coming that's today's ones yeah it's loading quite slowly so let what are you saying it's the video is okay so i'm gonna leave it for the minute so on this page um oh molly changed it over that's why i can't see the next one because we had well gosh 10 weeks of tutorials now um we had so many coming down one after on each other and molly put all the april tutorials in a category within there and all the march tutorials and all the may tutorials so today is the first of june so that's the first one there this is the flare bracelet what we're doing and if you go in there we got all the um lovely flowers that it in there we got the glass pearls we got the speckled glass beads we got um um, everything there, what you would need. Now, here's your free PDF download. It's zero pound today. So you do need to add it to your basket and you need to check out and um, it will be automatically emailed to you. Let's this thing still repeat it, mine's still doing it. So let me just pop this back. Let me see if I come off the Wi-Fi, just come down at the top. Is this any better? Do let me know. I came off the Wi-Fi, I'm now here on the 3G. So if you're still having the same problem, then do let me know. But I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay now. Are we okay? Are we good to go? So this bracelet is okay here, Leanne is saying. Cool, so let, let, let's hopefully be all right now. So. This is just as easy to do the other one. I'm gonna start with one of these little ones. Now with this one, again, it's your design. I put three pearls between my roses to space them out a little bit more. Um, so I'm using less roses really and more pearls because on the small one, we use 10 of the small roses with two pearls between. And this one, we are using three pearls between and only three small ones and three medium roses. So I'm gonna start with the small rose. Gwen is saying still the same. I'm so sorry. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not um, so technical with the internet. I'm not really sure what else I can do. 
but you can always watch back the video because this video will stay on and I always upload it in HD. I'm going to add three pearls. I um, slid the small rose right down to the middle of my elastic. The elastic is um, probably about 50 centimeters. So just under a couple of feet is more than enough what we need to do. And now I'm going to add three pearls to either end. Oh, I can see Sarah is on. Hi, Sarah. And then use, keep on adding, on add three pearls. Now, in the previous version, as you see, we did cross over in the small acrylic rose. Now, we can, because we're going to use this larger one, and this larger one, this 25 mils, has got two holes going through them. So we don't really want to crisscross over and back. So this one, we're going to use straight. Now, I'm going to go in and use one strand going through one of the hole then i'm going to come in with the other strand just coming through the other hole so we turned the direction of the rose here so this rose is sitting vertically no this rose is sitting horizontally to me and this is sitting vertically the larger is sitting vertically i always mix them up I always mix my left and right one as well. I, I'm not, I hope, like, I'm not the only one. Um, other people are the same, but I'm so bad at giving directions. And uh, my husband usually does have a go at me. And I sort of stay directions. So you need to go up and then you turn left and then you turn right. And my husband is looking at me. And I said, no, it's not the right, it's the other right. So he means turn left and left. I'm really, really bad. So I can see Sarah is answering all your lovely questions. So I added three other pearls to either side of my strand. Now, after the large one, I'm going to do another small one. So I'm going to cross over in this one. So I'm going to take one end from one way and the other end from the other side. And pull this up tight. Just like that. And now I'm going to add another three pearls to either side. One. Oh, I can see having a good um, I'll chat about uh, Sarah. Sarah's taken her lovely little dog for a haircut today. Bless them. I got a friend as well, and um, they got. I always forget forget if he's a cockapoo or a cavapoo, one of the other ones. And um, his name is Teddy. He's the loveliest dog ever as well. Um, so cuddly. And um, obviously in the lockdown, he didn't have a haircut um, at all. I, I don't think my friend was brave enough to sort of cut his hair. And the other day, I think he... She took him or, or somebody must have done it. And I seen them, they're walking past the house and he had such a short hair. So I'm ready to add my next rose. Again, I'm gonna take one line through one hole and the other line through the other hole. But now you have to sort of watch it because with the smaller roses, you can flip them over as they only got one hole. But with this large rose, you can't flip it over. So if you add it in the wrong way, it's gonna sit there in the wrong way. But obviously we can very easily correct this because you're only working with elastic and I haven't fixed anything yet so I'm going to line it up and I'm going to take one strand down through one hole just like that and the other strand through the other hole and pull this up and again I'm just going to add three more pearls to either side it's really easy pattern repeat um, beginners project but you get because these roses are so beautiful you get such a great effect with them if you just joined us I'm using the pearl from the pearl bundle which is on the website um, it's a great thing to get because on and I have to say um, I went into Perk and I personally picked all the colors out from the stock what we use I think um, 
if you had the pearl bundle from us before um i think 18 strand is exactly the same a couple of them i have to change because we're running out of stock but i always make sure you get a really nice mixture and it's these are the colors what i use most as well they are really beautiful so if you put them separately those 40 strands would cost you 50 pounds on the website but in the bundle you can get it for 34.99 and sarah used it i used it before i'm using it again we're going to be using these bundles all the time because it's just great to have um, materials at home i guess at your fingertips so if you want you can just keep on crafting i just need a few more pearls Oh, Margaret is saying, when I'm driving, my sister navigating, and I had to ask, do I go right on the way you are <laughs> pointing left? Yes, that would be me. I I never forget, I was on TV once, and um, I can't remember what I was demonstrating, but the story goes that um, after the TV show, the director came down from the gallery because they the director, the producer, they always sit in the gallery and um, uh, that's sort of separate from the studio. That's where they monitor. They got, oh gosh, I think they're about like 20, 25 TVs in there um, from all the different cameras for every single angle. And, and that's where they produce the whole show. So the director came down from the gallery right after the show and he said to me, oh, oh, you're so clever. I can't believe because when you on camera, obviously the camera is looking you um, straight on. My right is camera left. So when I say right, that will be the for the camera, it will be left. And when I say left, that will be right for the camera so he congratulated me i can't believe how well you explained the what you were doing you even did the right and the left right so when you said right you use your right hand you were i was um, using my left hand at the time um you were using on the camera right so it looked perfect on the tv <laughs> and i started to laugh and tell him well i'm not really that clever to be honest i just don't i always mix my right and left up so um at that time it really worked out i guess but i can um, do work with right and left hand as well so my little lucy's the same as me I haven't really got a dominant side. My right is more dominant than my left, so I do more things with my right hand. But I can bead just as well with my left hand, or I can write with my left hand as well as my right. Um, I don't know if there's anything to do with anything, but my mom was left-handed when she was born. And bless her, she's, um, she's coming up to 70 soon. Um, they in in her time when she was at school they made her to leave her left hand behind i guess and to made her to write so this pearl as well it's got a little bit of blockage so i'm just going to go in with a pin and just sort of throw it around there try to get anything out if there's anything in there so that I made her to stop writing with or doing anything with her left hand and start to do it with her right. So she's she always says to me she's got two left hand, which I, I tell my children as I well, I got two left hand. But um I do can do pretty much the same thing with my left hand I can do with my right. Not as well, I guess. My writing is not as neat and I'm much quicker with the right hand, but I think it's practice that how much you practice to do with each hand. Right, so I added my last three pearls, and again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn my bracelet around, bring that, actually, let's tighten it up first before I do that. So I'm just going to hold the ends together, just, just like that, and I'm going to slightly sort of wiggle these roses, push them down a little bit. So just not pulling so much, but I'm just tightening and evening it out and as you can see when i pull out the end i got a little bit of gap so we did tighten it up a little bit it's hard to see with elastic but you can right so i'm gonna turn it over i'm gonna bring the ends up and um this is why i said that it's really 
um, you do need to line it up or you can wrap it around your finger it's however is the best way to work it because you're working with two strands you don't want to end up joining it the wrong way and have a twist in your bracelet later on and believe me i've done it as well myself so i'm just going to take the right hand side and go through as i looped you around go through this from the right and pull it up tight and then we don't need to go through the left one because we're just going to knot it right here sort of tighten up make it even again you're gonna do a knot now you can do either just if I do just the proper knot I knot it three times so I go to one and then I'm gonna come through again and I'm gonna add another knot from the other side looping it around again um as i as i did on the earlier bracelet this one what i showed you sarah likes to do a surgeon's knot so a surgeon's knot is um i'll show you again so if you cross your ends over and you're going to take the end one end around the other not just once but twice and pulled up tight so as you can see there is more than one loop uh, going around each other and when you pull it tight this elastic is really going to bite into each other now this elastic is a little bit more slippier than the flossy elastic so i'm going to take my nail varnish straight away i'm going to pull the end up so if i wrap the end around my finger and I'm pushed down on the bracelet I can sort of get that knot away I hope you can see it if I put my finger behind it is that better get the knot away from my bead I'm going to take most of the nail varnish off from the end of my brush and I'm going to brush from the top letting the nail varnish from my tail end to seep onto my knot if you were want to use super glue which you can as well which is great i would take a toothpick take pick up a tiny bit of super glue and just apply it to the top of the knots and never apply it at the bottom because i don't want to make this elastic i want this elastic nice and stretchy i don't want to make it harden this up and sort of become brittle so i can I just add it from the top and let it to seep down a little bit so normally i would leave this until it dries but I'm going to cut it off straight away for you because when you're working with larger beads like this one has got larger holes as well what you then can do is to wiggle that end into your bead and then everything all your disappeared so you haven't got you can't see an end and a beginning to your bracelet and it's just a really nice and neat way to make up your bracelets very very easy just oh look at that that color is matching my bracelet that i made yesterday like a little i thought about this a little bit didn't i <laughs> i love wearing stack of bracelets i love wearing more than once but this is the ombre one we did yesterday there was five different colors and they, they are really a great um bracelet and great fun to do the tubular herringbone so i just need to take a sip of my coffee um, what do you mean a flossier elastic what's the difference like let me get you grab, grab your wheel and i'll show you because i've got one just right here the flossy elastic comes in in different colors as well uh, which one is open the purple one is open and that's actually going to show up better so this one actually it's called flat elastic on the website so when you look at it so if i bring it up i hope you can see it it's sort of a flat in shape i don't know if you can see it if i if i put it on my nail because that's a lighter color it's flat in shape and also if i go to the end i'm not sure if i can pull it apart but this is made up of fibers so the round elastic what we're using it's a solid round one there is no sort of beginning no joining nothing in there in the flossy elastic if i maybe i'll be able to pick it with a needle just a den so as you can see i can separate the ends up because this is the the this flossy 
elastic has so many different sort of strands in them as you can see and it's sort of all woven together all um come together and that's why it's, it's called we, we refer to it's, it's called flat elastic on the website but we refer to it as flossy elastic because um you know that um floss what you use to do your teeth with it's very similar in feel and very similar in size and very similar in texture as well but the one what you use for your teeth obviously that's um, quite solid it doesn't stretch this one is really really stretchy so if you use one of these these are makes your bracelets much more stretchier and um they 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 more stretchier themselves because there is more than one sort of um strand they're bonded together it just you know a really nice material to work with the round one i like to use when i use heavier beads and larger beads because if I put larger beads of this one, the nature of this elastic is much more stretchier as the gravity will pull the beads down, it will pull your elastic apart and then you will have, um, oops, sorry, wobbling camera. I just wanna see if I actually got a bracelet made up here with it. Yes, I have. Brilliant. We'll pull the bracelet out if you put heavier beads on it. So the flossy elastic, I tend to use on smaller beads like this. And this one also have, as you can see, and actually it's using the same purple. So this one is have four rows of elastic on there going through those bracelets. So again, you're creating a very, a small sort of bracelet with small beads. There is no beginning or no end to it because there is no clasp on there, but it looks really, really good and it's super elastic as well. If I did the same pattern with the round elastic, because this comes in 0.6 as well, um, this would be really hard to stretch out because for a strand of this, you, would, you will not be able to stretch it out that much as you can stretch out four strand of the flat elastic. Diane's asking which lasts the longest. So I used both of them. I think, well, depending of how well you, I suppose, take care of them, I'm not so careful with my bracelets. So I do wear them and I do, I'm so klutzy. I do bang around um, quite a lot, but they both of them should last a few years. Um, with, uh, I find with the round one, they stretch out sort of earlier than later, but I'm not sure if it's because it's the stretch elastic or because I'm losing larger beads. So the stress on these strands are more because I got larger beads on them. And then here I got, here I've only got two strands weaving through, here I got four strands. So overall, they should last, I suppose, pretty much the same. Um, I use regularly both of them. So you can, um, you know, you can experiment, but each one of us has got our favorites. I think Sarah prefers to use the flossy one more than the round one. I, I like both of them as well. Oh. So Leslie's saying that's a lovely bracelet. Um, what Raven bundle would you like? Um, right. So let me just show you the bundles we have on the website today on offer. Which what I used in the necklace. I and the bracelets as well today. What I made, made. I used the pearl bundle, which is this one. Excuse it, as I have taken a couple of strands out of this one. Now I personally made sure the pink one. We just used the eight millimeter one, but that's here. And I think I grabbed the this one out as well. This lovely turquoise color as well. So I, I made up the bundles, I pulled all the stuff, well, I have to say I didn't made, make the bundles myself, but I pulled the all the stock out, all the different colors for this. If I turn it, my, you can might see it better. All the different colors for this bundle. So I always make sure when I do my bundles that you get a really good color scheme. Um, you get purples, you get pinks, you get orange, red, you get greens, you get your turquoise. And I pulled this color out as well earlier sorry so you have your blues and aquas and equally i like to put 
browns and and beiges in there so you got a really good bundle to play with now sarah used this um a couple of sundays ago she was doing um she was doing some acrylic flowers some different ones i used this for the necklace i used it for the bracelet today so you can create so many lovely things with this it's you know it's really worth to have in your stash um it's usually it would be 50 pound if you bought each strand separately on the website but they are 34.99 today um so you can get them. We do have a limited number as well because we can only make up a few at a time. And let me just show you the other bundle we use, which is the speckled glass. Now, I love this one. This is my summer bundle. This is my absolute favorite at the moment. Now, I used up the darkest green the other day on this necklace, but it's not darkest. It's still a pastel -y color, this one. But what's the good thing about this bundle is that not along you got this amazing finish on the bees themselves, this speckled, let me just bring this yellow one up, this speckled finish. Like, I just really, really love it. Um, you have 12 different colors in your set, but each color comes in 6 millimeter, 8 millimeter. And 10, 10 millimeters. So you can do really nice graduating necklaces with it. You can use it for so many different things. And just look at the colors. They are the perfect summer colors. And you can do rainbow jewelry with it as well because you got your yellow, orange, red. Um, you got your green at the top. You got your blue. You got your violet. So you can do rainbow jewelry with it as well, which I made a bubbly bracelet a rainbow bubbly bracelet you can find that on our facebook page or um how we made it with pins oh these strings are escaping on me let's just get this out of the way as well so that's the speckled one what we made with the large roses which these have got three holes if i grab one which is not in a jewelry so that's there as well you can use them as spacer beads as well in um various different um projects i guess these large rows are so available as a pendant these ones got really nice and smooth and round flat back so that's the difference between the two all you need is just a large jump ring to connect it into your necklace and i just i picked up this cream so let's pick up Ooh, look at this pearl from the bundle it would go perfect with it but then if i choose another one you know you got you got so much pearls in the bundle to use with so many different colors so it doesn't really matter what color your rose you gave you got the bundle of pearls because you got one to go with it so that's that one there is another this is a medium size one so this has got a nice round back again with one hole this would be perfect to put on um hair bands as well or um you know hair grips or anything like that to make them really pretty they come in so many different colors as well and then the one we used in the bracelets today they got a flatter back and they have two holes so that's the difference between the one hole one it's got a nice round and as you can see this one is deeper than this one this is what we used today in the bracelet and then you have your smaller ones and they only got one hole. But this again comes in so many different colors and you can do so, so lovely and different jewelry with it because you can even mix your roses. So this one is a mixed color. I use three different colors of purple of roses, but the same um, pearl on it. And what the great thing about this, what I love when I do this, so now I can wear this bracelet with a purple top a lilac top or a violet top and it will go with all of them because it will pick the color up but i made these bracelets in so many different sizes and colors already there is a red one so there with a large red rose we use the speckled ones but you can do the same with the glass pearls as well you would have to get a 10 mil to match it oh there is the blue one with the mixed ones as well so I could wear this with a blue top, a turquoise top, or, you know, even an aqua top as well, or a sea foam one as well, because I got all those colors in it. But there is many different, there's a mixed pink one as well. So I got 
two, three different pinks in there. There's so many different things you can do with it. And the necklaces, I just love. They are really, really pretty. So if you want to know how to make these necklaces, this one is using a large crystal in the middle. This one is using the small and the large um, acrylic ones themselves and there is another one now you can make your front pieces as big or as small as you want this one has only got three in there that one's got five on there so it's really a sub to you you can go back on facebook and have a look at um, what we've been doing and find the video there but you can also if you go on our website okay i'm sorry if i keep repeating myself it's totallybeats.co.uk there is a category either on the left hand side or at the top if you press on categories called facebook tutorials and if you click on there molina organized the march april and may tutorials into separate little ones so if you go into may that's today's ones by the way first of june it's always there what's the bracelet what's the project is and the date if i go into may Yesterday we were doing this lovely herringbone ones. So I'll show you this kick on that. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, there's all the relevant products box there, but if you click on this large blue button, it will take you to the video where we were making the herringbone. If I can I speed this up? Yes. It will show you how to make that one. So I just want to get rid of this video. So let's go back. That's it. So I'm just gonna click back one. This is what we done on Saturday. This is the 30th of the May video. And um, Simon made this project download free as well. So you can download the necklace as well today as the bracelet if you like. But again, if you click on that big one, um, big Facebook button, it will come up with the video. And I will show you. I did a cup. Oops. Oh. Me and technology, eh? I will come up with a cut the couple of we did the rose color necklace and then we went on and we did the seafoam one as well so there's two style of necklaces there for you to do if you want to check that out on saturday we did that video so that's it for me let me just turn you back around sorry if i missed any of your lovely comments after the video i will go back and i always read the comments and just answer any questions if you had um Il lj lj yes um i hope i said your name right what a lovely name um the red necklace um is a bit 1930s love it yes so you can create different looks now you can take this further up or as i said yesterday you can have this further down or you can make it as long as you want because you're only extending the back of your necklace you can really make really lovely pieces of this and these ones a pound each i mean you use two of the acrylic roses on there so really the materials are not expensive at all but what you're creating with it it can look really expensive so the one we made on the video on saturday i mean if you look at this one and you supermarkets because you can buy custom jewelry pretty much everywhere now you look at this and you would think i would never be able to make that it's really really easy so if you pop back onto that video or the bracelet themselves they are really really easy to make and um the small um, flowers, they four for a pound. The large one, I think 60, 75p. So they are really, you know, negligible, not very expensive materials, but what you get with it. So if you wanted to buy this necklace properly, you would be expecting to pay 15, at least 15 quid for it or more, depending where you're saying it. Oh, Alison, is, Alice, Alison Newton, I'm, I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, lovely. Um, I was just saying, I love the 20s and 30s size, me too. Um, I have experimented with um, sort of, um, oh, that sort of vintage um, look of uh, a colouring glass. And, and I love those motifs and, and all those designs. Um, Mercy saying, great demo as usual. Bye, Kitty. Have a great day. I hope you all have a great day as well. Love, enjoy your Monday. Um, I thought it was supposed to be raining today, but it's nice and sunny today. I need to go into work this afternoon. So um, Simon took the car in and I'm going to cycle in. So I'm tackling those trouser problems I've had. All those trousers were shrunk in a cupboard. I don't know how over the winter. 
Um, I'm going to get back on my bike and I'm going to bike into work, um, trying to sort of lose an inch or two so I can fit into my all my last year's trousers. So have a lovely day. Oh, Stephanie's saying hi from Michigan. Hi to you as well. This is so great. This is what I love about Facebook that um, we can have, do say hi on any of our videos. Um, we can have people from all over the world. And um, we have a, a few ladies watching from America because we had texting from them as well. And um, New Zealand, Australia. And it's just really nice to great and that uh, we can inspire you all over the world. Do share the video because the free PDF is only free today. And we really appreciate that um, if you share the video and share the love. And, you, you know, it's really easy to make jewellery as well. So we can show you and we can get you interested in. And it's not necessarily you have to come and buy things for us use up the things in your cupboards what you have at home just really sort of want to share the love for me and sarah i'm um, doing these videos together we're both really passionate about beading and passionate about crafting in general i guess and, and like to like to create and make um all the time i guess so that's it for me today do have a lovely day um i will see you tomorrow i know i said sarah was supposed to be tomorrow but she's got something to do tomorrow so it's gonna be me back tomorrow you have to bear with me for another day i will um i will do a stitch bracelet tomorrow um it's gonna be super duos three millimeter pearls and size 11 seed beads i really love the design unfortunately i haven't got one here i thought i had it one in my jewelry box i read it this morning but i must have i don't know i, I must have put it somewhere so i will post a picture on facebook later on this afternoon um it's a really lovely it will be very easy to do so i hope you can join me for that tomorrow and on wednesday it's going to be me as well because sarah's going to be at the tv and we're going to be turning hat pins once more again we're going to be using hat pin balls and we're going to use lovely gemstone chips and crystals and creating a chain mail bracelet Oh, Sarah saying thank you for coming tomorrow. No problem at all. This is what I love. Um, sort of the relationship we got with Sarah that if she can do something, then I pick it up. Then if I can't do something, then she picks it up. And it's just really great that um I think we work very well together. I, I always say we like the terrible twin twins. Um, I'm the most more naughty one and she's the nicer twin, but never mind. So have a lovely day, stay safe, everybody, and I will see you some tomorrow. Bye.